but I'm going to go through this end. So I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a little bit more, work it around. It's not this hard, it's only hard if you pull the end through, so that's something you don't want to do. Otherwise you have to keep messing with it, messing with it, and it makes it harder and harder, and it's really not hard at all. Again, just get this end through. Alright, so let's get it through. There. Yeah. And then... Whoa, look at that! It didn't work. But good enough. We can snip this off and still roll with it. But we can't because I one thing. We'll make this into a tap. Okay? Since I already have it screwed up, I can at least pull it through and get some of these windings working. But since I screwed it up, I don't want to do it again. I'm going to straighten this up. It's a little tricky because I'm straightening out the wire, but you're getting it, right? See what I'm doing? I don't have to, for a tap, I don't have to strip that in, okay? And so what I'm going to do is you see, you know, now, so you get an idea of what I'm doing. Going back through, just like before. And hey, look, it's coming through this time. That's because I didn't jam it all the way through. I mean, it, it's tricky, but you can get it. It just takes a little patience, time, and there it is. So let's straighten this up. There, now it's tight. Alright, now we have a tap. Okay, see that? What I'm going to do with this tap is I don't want this striking anything or anything. I mean, I could strip it and all that, but I, then I'm going to... I can have it that way, or I can do whatever I want to the end. Okay? As long as I insulate this end with some electrical tape. You know, got electrical tape. Just do it for you real quick. And let's insulate it up. Alright, <clears throat> so now that I have that insulated, what I usually do is I to insulate it a little bit more, I run electrical tape around, and I lock it in so it's insulated. I don't know why, I just felt like this is necessary, but if you insulate it up, you have less interference with what's going on, okay? If you leave the end off, you know, if I take this end back off, and expose it, and I'm just sticking it in the ground, which I don't want to stick a negative one in the ground uh, for plants or anything, it's like a positive one. But there it is. Okay? Simple as that. That's your negative came out. Okay, so positive is one way, negative is another. You can tell by just looking at it. If I take this tape back off, you can see it even better. So give me a second. And you don't want this sticking out like that. See what I'm saying? You want it round. Like it's going like that. There we go. You straighten it back up. Just don't kill the insulation because you need it. The spacing is important. So if you look at both of them, you can see they're going opposite directions. That's what I'm talking about. Okay? One's one way, one's another. That's a normal inline. That is a tap. When you insulate this in, and you're striking it with here, and letting it sit, that's tapping it. Okay, you can even do it on a line. Say you have a line running, you can even tap it straight on. A tap would be tapping into the energy that's present. Okay, so I hope that helps somebody. Um, take care.